This is Phil Bell from FreedomWorks on The Daily Mojo, your morning update. You know, the story of Jesus and Barabbas tells us a lot about today's politics. For a little recap, at one point, Jesus, who was known by many to be a very respected teacher, although a controversial one, and Barabbas, who was a notorious criminal, were standing before the Roman governor Pontius Pilate, and they had a tradition of releasing one prisoner to the crowd so they could be free. The crowd chanted, we want Barabbas, the notorious criminal, whereas Jesus was ultimately crucified. But the interesting part of this is the crowd was stirred up by the priests who opposed Jesus to want Barabbas released. Now, what does that tell us about today? Well, look at our politics. Right now, so many of the public has been stirred up to believe a variety of things. They believe that if I get in my truck and it's powered by a V8, that I will destroy the planet. They believe that if I'm allowed to keep more of my money, then I will make someone else poor. They believe that I am somehow racist unless I accept the ideas of anti-racism or DEI. But why? Where's the evidence? What's going on? What's the real story? Well, the reality is most people don't ask the question. They simply take what they're fed. And the result of that is that we have very few solutions to any real or perceived problems out there. What's more, we're not even sure what is a problem and what isn't. So what I want you to do is twofold. The first thing, of course, is go to freedomworks.org and join our freedom teams. There we will help you learn the difference between propaganda and reality. But the second thing I want you to do is to question everything. And it doesn't matter if it comes from me or anyone else. If somebody tells you that there's a problem, ask them why and ask them where it came from and ask what other solutions can be and then study it yourself. And now I know that will take a lot of time, but you should do it because we have the responsibility to govern ourselves. And therefore, anything that may or may not be a problem is up to us as individuals to solve, not for us to sit and wait for someone else to solve it for us. That is what will keep us free, and that is what will give our children and our grandchildren the opportunity to live in a nation that is so amazing that people in the time of Jesus could never conceive. We'll see you tomorrow, and I hope you have a great day. Phil Bell's Morning Update is only on the Daily Mojo.com.